This is John Costum. We're here at the Watt Space. So it's the final day of the High Cross CSR week, and uh, one of the groups has come back, and I've got uh, Olivia. How are you? Fine. Good, good. So tell us a little bit about where you've just been. Is it what, what organisation did you visit? Um, Zinthia Trust. Okay. And did you actually get to meet the Zinthia yeah. herself? Yeah, she was really interesting. Um, really nice lady. She's been running it since uh, 2009, so she knows, she knows exactly what she's talking about. Yeah. I find it amazing the amount of people that she helps. Yeah, she does. She has all different kinds of people. But like, all, like we started, when we got there, it was empty. Within an hour, there was all different kinds of people in there, and anything to do with like, money, advice, domestic abuse, anything, she'll always do her best to try and help them. So. Brilliant. So, Joe, tell us a little bit about some of the f issues that she's got in a minute. You were mentioning something about a boiler? Yeah, she's, she's got a boiler breaking down, not working at all. And, um, she was also saying about things in clothes, things like that, simple things like pillar cases, panties, um, um, quilts, anything like that. Um, also, food, food banks, when she's like a food bank. Yeah. Now also, you, you mentioned something about BIX earlier as well, which is a cleaning standard, yeah. is it? Yeah, actually are involved with, um, it was actually with women in, in prison, actually, and they were taught um, how to do this cleaning through the British Institute of Cleaning Sciences, um, and we are training and assessors and we were looking at trying to help them teach people how to clean so they can get a better standard of job. So actually something quite, quite a practical yeah. skill, if you like, yeah. Exactly. Okay, fantastic. So, Richard, you were saying a little bit about health and safety as well, so you were able to give a little bit of health and safety advice while you were down there. Yeah, just put a bit of acid tape here and there, so people at the top of the stairs are a bit of a, a steep staircase, so I oh, I like to know where the step was, so uh, sort of, you know, people elderly falling down, uh, low beams, just put a bit of tape up, so it just highlights, you know, where the beam is, basically. Now, in your work capacity, that's something that you must deal with day in, day out, and you're constantly aware of, whereas these guys, it's almost an extra bit they don't think about when it's volunteers and actually open, isn't it? Well, that's correct, yeah. I mean, obviously, they're open to the public as well, so, you know, the Abbey Insurance System did actually run out today, but she was aware. It's just little things that we can pick up yeah. that probably take it for granted off, you know, people just do volunteer work. Yeah. You know, it's just... I just enjoyed it to be fair, so. And you were saying about bringing a menu back as well for the oh, staff yeah, canteen? Well, well, the sandwiches are quite cheap to be fair, they look quite nice, they like goat's cheese, but I'll go there, get some menus, bring them back, put them in the restroom, yeah. and just probably to tell people where it is and, you know, the passing will pop in. Yeah, and a cup of tea for £1.30, no, you, you can't argue with that. Yeah. <laughs> you can't argue with that, mate, every time I tell people about that. So, Joe, from your point of view, um, volunteering and things like that, is it something that you've done before? Yeah, I have done it. Excellent. And so, just finish off with Olivia. Are you kind of inspired to get involved in volunteering or to go back and help out if you yeah, can? Yeah, definitely. I offered um, if there was anything I could do, and she said just to drop her an email in the week. It might be ad hoc, but I'll happily help if I can. So, definitely. Fantastic. Well, guys, well done. I'm glad you had a good time, and thanks very much for taking part.